Hey there, everyone. The South Cow playing VIP 5. Last time we went through part of Tennyson's Domain. Uh, we're gonna go through more of it today. Probably. That's gonna fall, right? You can tell because it doesn't quite align. So, yeah, video games, they exist, so don't let them trick you. Like this. See, there I got. I let myself get tricked. There is a very obvious P zone there. Uh, okay, there's the pie zone. Wow, you gotta do this every time you wanna get going here, huh? Alright, I mean, these are the rules set out by Tanisev. Uh, I mean, who's gonna say no to that guy? Alright, so are you safe there? Yes, you are. Alright then. I love being safe somewhere. And then, like, I don't know if they'll stay on these. Oh, jeez, that is amazing looking. It's very frightening, too. But there we go. Ah, oh, and we're back to Choice Town. All right, we start with green. And we'll look at Spleen. The background is very excited to be here. Oh, uh, yeah, when it's not lightninging, I can't see anything. I believe this was my pathway through the original game. Because you can just fly. <laughs> so that's cool. Oh, I got myself a fire flower too. Yeah, that's right. There's uh, spinies here. There's a orb up there suggesting that there might be a light switch somewhere, but I mean, there's water here. Water's just as good as light switches. Oh, I can see our wings though in the dark. And I got myself the my coin guide here. Oh no, that's lava. Uh, and that's bubblicious. Alright, okay. I mean, I appreciate what they're going for. I just don't know if I like it. <laughs> well, I just burned a guy. Sorry about that. Um, didn't expect to do that. I didn't even know you were there. Uh, so you are a loud dude, so everyone knows when you are there. There's like, I don't know, like, I feel like I've played worse versions of this. This ain't all that bad, honestly. Welcome to the Dark Realm of the Dark Realm. Uh, we're gonna dark it up and then tan a sin. You are being worn. Wow, double cape, huh? That's kinda scary, honestly. Everything is beige. I remember this! I can't spin jump. You just deactivate the spin jump. Yeah, this is a. He's got a triple shot. That, if I press the A button, like, just nothing happens. And then he triple lols at me. Can you believe it? Well, I mean, I went through one layer already, so let's work on the other layer. I guess let's just have that done. Ooh, the eyeballs are red now. Tennyson is now serious. What? I gotta do this without any power-ups. That's impossible. It is not impossible. Turns out, probably. Look at that. Spally arrow. Tennyson. He's a very nice guy. He's like, hey, I don't want you to get lost in my weird home. So I made sure to put arrows everywhere to remove any ambiguity. That's a weird flex on my part. There you go. I'm so wacky. There was some like, yeah, there's a dancing uh, lion up there near the ceiling just flashing incoherently in our direction. Did it. Activated the switch it. I did it. That's true. It's okay. So one of them is a mushroom. So you gotta watch out about that kind of thing. So what's here? I don't remember. This. So that's gonna snake probably. No? I play. This one does. Uh, I was about to say I play too much jump, uh, but uh, the first one was a trick. Oh, look at that. It's upside down sky. That changes everything. All right, where is my actuous humor? I don't know. That's a weird thing to ask for, because that's a part of your eyeball. So it's not like, doesn't go on the arrows, it kind of goes like around the arrows in an awkward way. That's fine. It's my friend Snake. Whoa, lots of things are happening. All right, uh, I went on that block. I figure, you know what, blocks are cool. They're got four sweet angles. And four crazy sides. Uh, what else are you? Need? Oh shoot! See, this is the thing about comp like harder snake segments, is that invariably you get parts where if you're not ahead at the right time, you may die. That's how it is. But like in that case, like if I do that, what's the point? Like I'm. 
I can't just keep doing the darkness zone because I know very well that I can beat it. Like, the reason why I'm playing this is, you know, because I want to play it. It'd be weird then to just go, I want to play it, but I don't, like, I, I just want to, like, experience the area around it. So I'm just gonna fly over everything, but I can serve Bruno. Quack. Quack indeed. So last time I didn't got caught there because I jumped on this block. Or, oh, shoot. It's going this way. There is a circle. Just means that I don't know what's going on. So here, like, you gotta, like, jump ahead and... But then you also gotta deal with the roto disc everywhere. So make that work. Huh, it's weird because it's all very easy up until there where it's just like dodge the entire universe dot com What I didn't let go though hmm. oh, Look at that though and I knocked him out of his home He uh, he was upside down Weird how that courtesy is an extended to versions wearing a shell on their head well, I guess to do that, they would have to re them with the shell, like, on their head, like, upside down. It would have looked pretty awkward. Gosh knows, no one on a VIP team wants things to look awkward. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't touch the disc. It will rotate you to heck. I want that to happen. Don't want no Rotato Roboto. Uh, that's, that's, that's a fact. Uh, it's like roaches wants to see one. You know there's at least like a hundred more hidden somewhere. Alright, I'm thinking we're going vertical here. Judging by, yeah, all the friends. Oh, that's weird. Oh, now we got homing guy. Of course we do. Oh, we got a nest of them. Of course we do. Uh, what are you doing, snake boy block? Oh, there's a door. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy with that room. You just dance around there for a bit, and at some point you did it. This is honestly pretty rad, the way it wiggles like that. Like, you just don't really see that ever. Homing boys, you can just deal with turning around. It's they're not generated. There's just two that are placed. When they're placed, normally I don't have any problems with them. There we go. There we go. So not like beat it for real. There we go. So yeah, just wanted to confirm it does lead back to Brown Tennyson. I just confirmed this is the magic room. Confirm that they're the same places. Oh, there's ice physics. Why wouldn't there be? And you can't bop on him. I just went through him, like... Now I can spin jump. He hasn't deactivated it yet. So he's just lolling it up. And he was reappearing really quickly. Alright, well, he's happy to be here. So as you can see, fire is required. Where will we get that fire? I don't know. You do that, you press the switch. That's pretty cool. Do you like the switch being pressed? Because you need to press to get fire here. Now, it's not a power-up, it's like a weird block, so you don't get one in storage or anything. So now you can get hit here and go through another cycle, because if I'm correct, this is like a continuous cycle of pain and tragedy, forever ambivalent, and darkness wheezes space. So you get here, and then you burn your path up, and then you gotta go through another cycle to press the switch, because you need that switch to on if you wanna go have that block to be able to go in. So, that sniper shot that fires real quick, it fires real quick. <laughs> this is the most advanced Kamek on the market. Uh, you need like a deposit of both. These magic shots just disappear. Oh, I think it's because we hit the- dang it, we hit the border between two screens. Well, that's funny. So we know where the seam is. <laughs> I got an ice barrier in the way, you, you jerk. Yeah, you, you kitty cat. Kitty cat is a terrible insult. And then I just jump in the pit. 
<laughs> hey, it doesn't look impossible. It's just kind of unpleasant. <laughs> dude, dude. All right, so like, let's just be a preview of how I'm going to be handling this going forward. There you go. Hey, there's a moon up there. I saw that shadow of a moon. All right, well, maybe one day I'll get... Is there any other two? Yeah, there are two light bobs. So I'm figuring maybe they're not meant to be light bobs. Is the suggestion of such? Well, it was still spinning post being here. Anyway, yeah. Let's check out this alternate... Oh, I kind of remember this. So these create mirror images, right? A strange little fish fillet effect here. And now this can be hard to grasp, but the reality is... Oh, I'm drifting upward. So yeah, there it looks like I just got hurt for now. Oh, I'm drifting upward because that's what those weird tunnels do. Okay. Is that every one of those shadow clone has a hitbox with me. They are all solid. They all contribute to Boone's life force. So, and I remember being very confused when I was playing this for the first time. Because, like, I just kept getting, kept getting hurt all the time, and I didn't understand why, you know? Well, due to the power of positive thinking, uh, I know now. I understand. And it looks like when you get a coin, you lose a clone, which, you know, makes sense. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I've decided it made sense, so it makes sense now. <laughs> Yo, check it out. Drifting through space. Weird nonsense background in place. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Like, oh, there's a switch down there I probably want to press. And my, my hitbox is getting large. So there we go. Let's shrinkle it a little bit. I'd even touch that there. Get less of one right here. Oh shoot. So I'm not supposed to be here. Or I'm supposed to double back and hit a switch somewhere here maybe? This is a really mazy place. Much more than I thought it'd be. Oh look at that. Everyone just went right close. The way to keep pro proliferating though I think is fast. What? Oh! One of them. One of them. Ah, oh, shoot, wow. I mean, I think... I think this place is amazing looking. I just don't know about the maze aspect, if it was a bit, m bit more straightforward. Or am I just saying that because I died? Ah! Maybe? <laughs> I'm feeling about that a little bit more better than the wizard zone, though. Weirdly enough. It just feels very arbitrary. And I'm dead. The color of that guy's cape. I love the weird reflections of blue in it. It looked really pretty. Yeah, that was all dodge on purpose. What are you talking about? So this time I'm not gonna press the switch down there and just go up here and get hit. That's fine. Pay the shadow clone tax. Pay the shadow clone plax. Play the plaster flax. There we go. Now we got diagonal wars. Switch way up there. See, okay, so here I might want to touch a switch. Got it. Here the ghosts are green, so they go pretty slow. I have so many shadow clones. I'm going to be Hokage by the end of the week. Believe me. Alright, let's get over here. There we go. I know, yeah, there's something very simple about this up until. Oh man, I don't know, like, I like what it's doing. It also might be a bit longer than necessary. Yay, I did it, got it.
fight is there. Oh, wow. Pro proximity bays now, huh? Do I want to hit that? I'm going to assume so, but it's based on nothing. Alright, I'll go here. No, I might die because I dare to explore a little bit. It's just how it works. Oh, there we go. No, I mean, it's... Oh, then we're just trussed right into the next space, huh? Alright, okay. Hi there, Ambush T. How's it going? Oh boy, uh, if you have sensitive eyeballs... <laughs> Hi. So, whoops, and that insta kills you. Alright, so, like, the whole wavy swimming prism zone, like, it's fine. It's so... it's actually pretty alright. But, I just think it's like... It's like a third longer than it needs to be for a marathon level session. As it is, to me, it feels like a proper, like, fortress stage. Like, the first half before a midpoint or something was just put in there. And, like, it's good. The, the, the programming is honestly perplexing. It's just, it's too long. It's too long and hard, I feel like, personally. Like, the wizard zone, I haven't been in it yet. That's gonna be my next challenge. Maybe it's harder? Maybe it's harder. I don't know, actually. I, I went through a few loops of it. But it feels a lot more dynamic. That one is just plodding, and I don't know, man. I don't think that people at large are ready for plod. What a weird sentence. Hey, the moon respawn! Strictly speaking, it can have infinite tries. Alright, it's wizard... Wizard town, that's right. Great shot. I did it. Man, a cave is so useful, because you can thwap the lols. So of course they force you into, like, you know, you can't have, like, fireball cave. Of course. Is that really too much to ask? Just a little fireball cape, you know? That old chestnut of Super Mario World. There you go, now capeless. Fashion free for you and me. Turns out, a triple shot spread? Not the easiest thing in the world to dodge. Weird, huh? Alright, I need to keep my fire. So at least I can, like, burn up this. There we go. Uh, don't want to burn up more than that. Well, it doesn't really matter anymore. So here's the thing. I could also leave the switch off to get the power up in here again. But then I'd have to go through one whole extra loop. Ugh. Hmm. -mm. Would have ended been worth it. Fastball special, they call it in the league. That was a good use my everything. So he's just like a ghost. You just go through him. I mean like that is an improvement over regular canic, honestly. to deal with this triple shot. I do like this, though. Uh, what? I've spin jump on his letters before, right? I mean, I wasn't centered well enough. We're gonna get all picky about it. Is that what you're saying? But yeah, like, me being... Whoa. I don't touch it, because I... Still got to power up here. There we go. That's fast all. That's not something you want to hear out in the wild. Whoa. How did I dodge that? And there he disappeared when I got close. Mario Maker style. But I don't know if that was a coincidence as a thing. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, you know what? I don't know what. Same issue as last time. 
Do I press the switch? Or do I go through another loop to get a power-up? I mean, I've made my decision a long time ago, way before I ended that sentence. But, like, it's still nonetheless a question I had to ask myself, you know? I really like being, like, way on the right. And he's, like, appears to the left of me. He slings spells like a master magician that he is. Look at that, it ain't so bad. Kinda. Okay, there's no more ice physics here. It's important to mention, because, I don't know, I got kind of real used to ice physics. Like, this is rad, but I could do without everything disappearing from my eyeballs every second. What kind of hammer bro are you? Okay, you throw bombs, that's cool. Optionality of eyeballs. Oh, shoot, okay. Electrica staticity on the top, so don't jump. <laughs> Just drop. But yeah, like, going through the wizard went way faster than going through, uh... Cloud City, so... There you go. That's no name. <laughs> it's a place. Well, you have people named after places, so yeah. I'm naming my second born Cloud City. So, uh, any prospect of people out there scouting the field, you gotta remember that. You gotta be okay with the second kid being called Cloud City. Alright? Look, we can change the spelling so it does, it's not that obvious, I guess. And we can make it so it's first name, second name. Like, first name, middle name. But I would rather it be one thing, but I mean, it is negotiable. Right? Oh man, I'm so afraid. Like, that, I know, like, jumping into that tiny enclosure. I mean, here you get an apple, it's fine. Like, a lot of what kills you, kills you in one shot, so it's still fine, but... Like, that is... I was holding up! I was holding up! I was totally holding up! Hey, I actually, like, hung on this time. It's like I'm playing a video game. Chucking a bomb there. Alright. I'm still alive there. Yeah, I'm just as surprised as you are. Okay, that's a power-up. Do I want to go down there, or do I want to... Surprise! Surprise! That's... okay. Alright. You do you, game. Saw that coming. Alright, so there's gonna be, like, shell surprises here. Uh -huh. Yep, are these all...? It looks... yeah. I guess so. Uh, okay, wanna go down here, I guess? That's cool. Uh, I might get hurt here, it's fine. Oh. There's a transient little platform there. You know what? Let's just dead please I don't know what I'm holding yet that was a bomb I sure love not seeing anything for like <laughs> all right for like seconds at a time like it's there I activated a falling platform it'd be hard to see normally but with having vision every like other half second I, I didn't know um, it's not a case where I think it's honestly like I'm complaining there and I'm sorry it's, it's emotion speaking It's honestly legit pretty rad. I just I gotta replay this every time though is a problem. I want to I want to play that part Maybe it's greedy Mom dude here Might have heard of him his name is mom dude Oh, right. Uh, 
There we go. One day I'm gonna see things. It's gonna be great. Where do I go here? Oh. Uh, okay. I go here, I guess. That's a spiny. I bought my head, though, so, you know, who cares? Where do I even go? Am I going the right way there? I have no idea because, you see, vision is a privilege, apparently. Press up before I touch the net to make sure the boom phase grabs on. Because otherwise, you're gonna have a nice 2,000 volt surprise. Uh, I don't want that bomb though. I don't want to be carrying anything. Carrying is for fools and people who own suitcases. And guess what? I I I don't think I own one. I think every time I've traveled, the very, very, very unfrequent times I've traveled, uh, it was with a backpack, a suitcase, I'm not like Captain the Rich Face. That guy doesn't exist. He's a fictional character. Uh, I'm on a block. No, I'm not. Well, I was. I just couldn't see it. Vision is a privilege. What? Poofed. I guess was the boomerangs? I remember you. Okay, I remember being confused. Uh, yeah, up here. Okay, okay. Pop and flame. Sure, why not? Free feather? Wait, where am I supposed to go here? Down or...? <laughs> you know what? No one knows anything. Knowledge is an illusion. That's a door that I couldn't go through. Go in the door! Knowledge is an illusion! Knowledge is an illusion! Knowledge is an illusion! Hey, that's a pretty sweet Stephen King reference there. Anonymous 2chan user. Knowledge is an illusion. Tannison is the only truth. 